Howdy, Gemini. How are you doing, darling? I just want to remind people what I look like, honey, and that I'm still around doing your tarot cards, darling. All right, Gemini. So let's get into your weekly tarot reading here today. See what's going on with you guys during this week of July. And I'll let you in on a secret, Gemini. If you click the top right hand corner of your screen right here, darling, you'll be taken to your monthly tarot reading as well, Gemini. All right. So be sure to check that out and let me know in the comments below how my tarot readings help you out, Gemini, today. All right. That's how I keep up with you guys is to the comments as well, Gemini. Be sure when you are consuming tarot readings today that you are consuming more than just your one zodiac sign you're looking at your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign all right gemini so i'm going to be doing three rows for you today all right your first row gemini we're going to be talking about your career and financial situation your second row right now uh gemini we're going to be talking about your social life this could be a platonic relationship or a romantic darling right and then notice we got this two of cups here honey all right and then in your third row which is my personal favorite gemini we're going to be tapping into uh tarot messages that you need to hear today you are this is where we're going to be talking about your predictions and also just having a better understanding of how you can further uh propel and elevate your life darling all right gemini so let's get into your tarot reading here today all right and if you want to support this channel uh completely for free gemini i would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know let's get this going here starting out with the back of the deck for you gemini you have the ace of swords darling all right ace of swords your truth being heard uh going forward gemini with something that has been sitting on your mind for a while all right you've been in this place of observing you've been in this place of self-reflecting gemini and i feel as if you have all the intel that you need to have here you just need to take action and then everything else is going to just fall into place for you all right gemini some of you guys have just been way too in your head about plans it's like the sense of being like oh yeah i would like to do x y and z right and you start doing some research on it but you ne never get out of the researching phase you never get out of the phase of where it's just like oh yeah that sounds nice on paper but let's take it from being on paper gemini to actually uh taking action on it because it's gonna it's gonna st uh, start something very beautiful for you all right um in regards to your career this reflects in terms of like honoring the ideas that you have maybe you want to do a certain type of project uh gemini You'd be very successful pay attention this week as well to what inspiration comes up in your head and around you here all right whatever that idea that you've been sitting on for some time uh Gemini, I really want you to just uh, start seeing where you can start building on that because spirits really going to be opening doors for you once you start considering the possibility. In regards to your social life here, uh, Gemini, I feel as if there's a lot of people that want to approach you. I won't be surprised, Gemini, if you have someone from your past that you walked away from at certain at some point in time, trying to make an appearance back into your life, Gemini, trying to reconnect with you with hopes that you will forgive them, that you'll take them back. All right, is something that I'm getting. And in regards two predictions for you Gemini um, the Gemini's that really are celebrating the most the Gemini's that are going to be reaping the most abundance are the ones that take action here all right you are about to be having <laughs> this is a very specific message Gemini and I never speak in these kind of ways but it's like first thing I was shown and like the word that came up was like portal Gemini all right there seems to be something building up for you uh, Gemini that's going to uh, that's going to call for all of your attention and i feel like it's something that's really important i feel like it's during a certain time period that you need to be at your best all right so be prepared for that because it is something like i do feel like there's something and we'll get clarifiers for all of this here to have a better a better understanding but gemini be on your toes darling because something powerful is like coming in the works and they want your spiritual team wants you to be at your peak physically mentally and emotionally because it's not something it's nothing bad gemini but it's like you need to be ready for when it starts and it's going to be different for all of you gemini's because all of you guys live in very specific situations of course obviously but it's there's going to be like i see two and three so two or three week time period of where it's like such an opportune time for you okay we'll get clarifiers on that in a moment Let's start talking about your tarot messages now, Gemini. All right, starting with your career, if I can get these cards in my hands, darling. You have the two as well as page of wands coming in with the wheel of fortune for you. 
all right and remember gemini all right i forgot to mention this this ace of swords energy darling that we talked about all right we're gonna be putting it over here darling all right because we're gonna be i already said beforehand um for my libras if y'all know who this character is darling you my people let me know in the comments if you know but she's gonna be my good judy right there she's gonna be holding that ace of swords because it's gonna be influencing all three of your rows all right so going back into this here for you gemini all right you are having a very powerful opportunity coming in here for your career advancement all right for a new opportunity coming in for you to commit to a new craft i see some of you gemini's having something that uh turns out to be really successful and then that takes all of your energy maybe some of you uh gemini's been have sitting on this idea of you know starting like your own lawn business or something i don't know why that came to mind like starting a lawn business or something like that i see i don't know i see for you gemini's that choose to accept experiment and try out different things experimenting with what they feel passionate about like there's going to be something that gets picked up all right gemini this is really a time for you to really just explore what you can really um evolve with what you know if you really want are wanting to have like a new stream of revenue this would be the time of asking yourself gemini being like all right what skills do i have that i can offer and remember gemini some of you guys need to accept the fact like just because something comes easy to you doesn't mean it comes easy to everybody else so for example i don't know i've been reading tarot cards for over 12 years gemini all right i didn't know there was a thing on the internet in the terms of like what i do now um until a few years ago all right and tarot reading comes easy to me but there are plenty of people and anyone can do it i truly believe everyone uh can read tarot cards there's no like gatekeep in my opinion on it but there's still people that would prefer me to do it for them when it comes natural i feel like it's very easy so just remember in that point of view gemini because some of you guys you're going to be sitting there and be like, well, Velka, that sounds nice and all, darling. I would love to have like a make money from uh, talents I have, but I have no talent. I have nothing I can do. Be more open minded, Gemini. All right. Because that's what I really see here is just the sense of my Geminis that are willing to entertain, entertain thoughts, entertain ideas and willing to um, <clears throat> commit to it, really. All right willing to give it the time of day to for it to grow into something now in your social life gemini all right this is interesting you have the death card nine of wands with the two of cups coming in here all right now as i was saying beforehand darling gemini all right i got like the strong feeling that someone's going to be coming in from the past to trying to rekindle things reconnect here gemini especially for those that it's almost like the sense for you, Gemini, it's like you try to reach somebody in specific, but they couldn't really like, it, I feel like it's a type of connection with somebody that you tried so hard with them beforehand. And it's just like, whatever happened, like it couldn't evolve, like something happened with the relationship that you couldn't deal with it anymore. I feel like this is coming back around asking for another chance, Gemini, in the sense of being like, hey, like I understanding more so of your point of view. All right, is something that I'm getting. For others of you, Gemini's, I get this sense that for those that are coming out of a relationship, um, of a, maybe you just recently closed out, distanced yourself from a family or a friend, or maybe just literally getting out of a romantic relationship or a hookup, darling, how you do? And maybe you had a, um, what do they call it? Um, a sneaky link, right? Maybe you had a sneaky link, darling, Gemini. Uh, I see another connection coming in shortly after. All right. So for those that have recently closed off some type of relationship, uh, pretty good sign here. All right. Now the heart of your spread today, Gemini, is the nine of wands. All right. Standing strong in your conviction. All right, Gemini, there is this message here of where you need to understand and fully believe in your side of things, believe in your truth and not willing to budge on that truth just because certain situations tug at your heartstrings. Gemini, I feel like for some of you guys, need you need to give some real tough love to a situation here. All right. So many of you guys, Gemini, I want to just sit here and ask you, it's just like, why are you surrounding yourself with energies that constantly make you feel like you have to reinforce? your ideas reinforce your own emotions um and thoughts right i feel like you're around i don't know i get like this sneaking suspicion where it's like some of you guys are around somebody or some bodies that isn't good for you i feel like i look at it and i'm just like uh, even you might be asking yourself gemini it's just like man why do i entertain this connection anymore because it's just like i just feel as if after you talk to them you always feel drained I don't know. Anyways, darling, let's get into your third door, Gemini. Tower, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups coming in here for you. All right. 
<sighs> so I want to be saying buckle up for you, Gemini. All right. That's the first thing that comes to mind is just telling you to buckle up here. You're going to be having a lot of fast forward momentum in the coming days here. All right. You're going to be having the rug swept from under you, but it's in the sense of where it's like off to the races. You know how when uh, it's like those like horse races or whatever, it's like you usually like shoot a gun in the air or something like that. That's what I keep on getting for you guys. It's just like um, the action is about to start. And again, I was getting like this sneaking suspicion where it's just like something's going to be commanding your attention. So it makes sense. That I'm thinking of like that reference of like a, the races that are about to start for you, Gemini. All right. I don't see this tower card as something where it's just like destruction. I feel like it's the sense of like alerting you, make taking advantage of an opportune time. You know, think about it in a way of where in a more grounded human standpoint rather than viewing it as like a portal. Think about it in a way where it's just like you just find out auditions are happening for a play, uh, a role. And this is the most opportune time for you to be auditioning. Or maybe you find out it's like a fashion week somewhere. And so you make it the most opportune time for you to be dressing to your nines and walking around because that's the most opportune time for you to be scouted. I don't know. It's like it's just something. And I know this sounds very much so just like uh <laughs> just like whatever whatever depending on what you see how you see energy right it can be very much so just like saying a bunch of nothing right but using a bunch of words but i feel like energetically for you it's like that type of vibe like something's about to be happening for you gemini that makes like such an opportune time for you that i feel like is really important arguably going to be the most important thing for this year for you it's like whatever mm. We're going to have to unpack this. Let's start unpacking all these, these cards here, Gemini, all right? We're going to be using my mystical manga tarot deck for this. We're going to be clarifying your career cards. As a reminder, your career uh, was the page and two of wands with that wheel of fortune, all right? So let's clarify things here. You, we have the ten of cups clarifying the page of wands here. All right, new opportunities that leads to complete fulfillment for you, darling. All right, this is really fabulous for you guys. All right, in regards to your career, Gemini, for those that take uh, action with that Ace of Swords, darling, see that Ace of Swords still hanging out back there, darling, it's still relevant. This is what happens. You want to be fulfilled, Gemini, and for those that take action on the, this, and ca you carve out an opportunity for yourself. You carve out this door. All right. This is such a promising time for you. I would even argue this is the most important time of your life. Like maybe this is the energy I'm sensing for you right now. Empress and yeah, Empress energy here, clarifying your wheel of fortune coming in here, Gemini. This is the time is now, actually. That's what this is. The, uh, this is like the most important time for you currently. The Empress card is the time of where the Empress is such so in tune with the universe that she's able to really almost instantaneously manifest things that would manifest her desires you know the empress is really aligned with the universe with the spiritual forces here and this is this is like really that's what's going on for you gemini is this like if you have been wanting to make a change for your career or financial situation now is the time for it that's what i was getting with this queen of swords clarifying your two of wands energy <clears throat> Now for this Gemini, I feel like you, some of you need to be a little bit more, some of you need to be a little bit more entitled towards what it is that you want, Gemini. All right. There's like this sense of where it's, you don't want to ask for too much or expect too much for yourself or for your career. And you need to get out of that mindset. All right. You need to be a little bit more structured, more disciplined when it comes to your career. When it comes to, you know, some of you need to take a further control of your financial situation, budget yourself more, right? For my Geminis that choose to crack down at this time, crack down, be the most adulty person that you've ever felt in your adult life, do them all the adulty things. That's how you get the success, darling. All right. Back of the deck energy, judgment energy. All right. This is your spiritual team helping you out. This is helping you bridge the gap from the Empress energy with the spiritual forces, right? It's like it goes through the judgment energy. Then the Empress is in tune with where the judgment energy is laying out to those clues, laying out to that help. And then it manifests, right? That's how you get the Wheel of Fortune to be turning for you. All right. This is the time for you to start making offerings to your ancestors, to your spiritual team, Gemini. 
Okay, this is really the time to start thinking of ways to bridge the gap between the spiritual forces as well as the physical plane here. All right, because your spiritual team is actively trying to um, send help your way. All right. So let's start clarifying your social row now today, Gemini. <clears throat> we have here the six of pentacles. Okay, girl. <laughs> We have the Six of Pentacles here, Gemini, with the Death card coming in here. I feel like for y'all, y'all are choosing to put up your guard, putting up a wall, uh, Gemini, with your yourself, with other people that just do a lot of taking, but not a lot of giving. I feel like you always give so much of your personality, so much of your essence, so much even money. You just shirt off your, your back, Gemini. And the people that you would always give the shirt off your back for, like you always ended up regretting it in some way because it's like it was never reciprocated. <clears throat> oh my goodness, you got both of the fabulous tens, darling Gemini. All right, now you have that ten of pentacles coming in here on that nine of wands. You're going to have your happy ending here, all right? And I feel like for many of you Geminis, it's like the sense of where... It's like some of you guys have like on some level given up on the high of like your dreams of, or of your desires of having like the white picket fence or like the perfect social life, like the perfect, like some of you guys have given up on the concept of the cliche soulmate or twin flame idea, which is something I don't subscribe to. Like everyone thinks that like those are like your perfect romance partners. And one that doesn't just because there's a soul connection doesn't mean there's a romance. And two, it's like some of you guys have given up this idea of thinking that you're ever going to find like your person or be able to find other people that understand you. All right. Keep your head up. You will find your tribe. You will find your tribe without question. And clarifying that two of cups energy only naturally, darling, in the most fitting, we get the full energy stepping in for you, Gemini. All right. So you're definitely going to be having some type of new connection coming in in the coming days. King of Swords, by the way, in the back of the deck as well. All right. This is not this is a main message where it's just like it's not a you thing. You are not the problem, Gemini. All right. You are not the problem is something I want to keep on saying here. All right. Don't be settling. Don't feel as if like it's like because you you have a certain set set of morals that you live by a certain standard when it comes to being a human. And it's like you keep on surrounding yourself with people that don't share those same morals. And so you always end up finding yourself going from friendship to friendship to friendship to friendship or relationship to relationship because you always are around people, end up finding ways being around people that don't share your same morals. And so then it becomes a point where after so long, you're just like, man, like, is it, am I the problem? Am I the drama? Am I, am I just being too much of a prude? Or it's like, no, you're not Gemini. You will find your people. This is the last thing you want to be doing. The very last thing rather that you want to be doing at this time is settling. All right, Gemini. So take that as you will i just had some of these cards mess up here we go there we go all right let's start clarifying your third and final row here i just noticed that there's another card that there we go this card right here <laughs> i'll take it out that two of swords i'll take that so that two of swords coming in girl how do these cards get flipped over all right so we'll just use these there i suppose hermit energy two and three of swords here I feel like you've been pushed to this point, Gemini. I feel like you, for you guys, it's like your story, your story, or some of you guys might even call it like your villain arc. Like your villain arc develops in a way where it's like, you didn't want to have to be forced to do certain things or to say certain things. You didn't want to have to be pushed to certain points, but you are, but you were. And I feel like you need to just honor that. I feel as if it's not something that you need to discourage yourself from. I don't feel like this is something that you need to feel shame for, Gemini. It takes, it's a, it's not a you thing. Again, I want to keep on saying it's not a you thing. It's how people were treating you and pushed you to the point of reacting to them in certain ways. That was the problem. All right. And this is like one of those things, oil and water, something else I'm hearing. So oil and water i don't know why but mess with anyways gemini um let me know if this tarot reading helps you out in any type of way we got a lot of intuitive messages here for you darling but i love you so much um if this gave you some clarity let me know in the comments below be sure to click top right corner right here darling for your monthly tarot reading if you want to book a private reading with me gemini my website's linked down below simply velka dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both being simply velka same as your darling if you want to connect with me on there uh in a more intimate way but until next time gemini i love you so much darling bye